cherish this, treasure it, live according to it. Huzur Akram sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ka pehla pehla pe Madina. What was the first message? Hazrat Abdullah bin Salam says in this very narration, Ayyuhan Nas, at'ibu al-ta'am, wa afshu al-salam, wa sinu al-arham, wa sallu bil-layli wa al-nasu liya, tadkhulu al-jannata bi salam. Listen to the poetic nature of the first message of Madina. He said, Ayyuhan Nas, at'ibu al-ta'am, wa afshu al-salam, wa sallu bil-layli wa al-nasu liya, wa sinu al-arham, tadkhulu al-jannata bi salam. Was not only for the borders of Medina, that Pagam and message of Sayyiduna Rasulullah should remain the message for entire humanity in all four corners of the world. Sayyiduna Rasulullah gave his universal sermon in Medina. The first thing he said was, Ibn Majah, Tirmazi, Musaddaf Ibn Abi Shema, Musaddaf Ibn Abi Ahmad, Sa'ul Hadith in the Rishon of the Authority of Harati Abdullah bin Salam radiallahu anhu. The first passage of Madinah. What a beautiful address. Abdullah takallama bihi. Abdullah takallama bihi. Abdullah bin Salam says, the first thing he said when he entered Madinah. Giving food to your guests, the concept of charity. The first he think he said was, Khana khinao, langar do, peen pharo, mahabbatun ko badao, nafratun ko khati. Subhanallah. Ad'imu ta'am, wa afshu salam. And when you see a Muslim brother, say assalamu alaikum. Subhanallah. Increase love and mahabbat by feeding. And by greeting the Muslim brothers, wasilul arham, and stay strong in your families, tie the bonds of your relationships, recognize your rishte and your relations, your masi's daughter, your khala's daughter, your pupi's brother, your chacha's son, your taya's son. The Prophet said, recognize your uncles, your aunties, your cousins, recognize your first cousins, your second cousins, and stay strong in your families. Why? Because we want to formulate the best ever society living in the human civilization. The society of Medina founded the best society ever to be seen on the face of the Subhanallah. Where salam was open. You recognize somebody you don't? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. You'll find your, your face shines with a smile. When you see a Muslim brother, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Shaykh, first time I've seen you, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Brother, first time I've seen you, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. You are not my cousin. You are not my brother. You are not my you are not my cousin. You are not my brother. You're not my uncle. We have no relation. Except the relation of being from the Ummah of Sayyiduna Rasulullah. We belong to the sacrosanct community of Sayyiduna Rasulullah. We begun, we belong to the blessed company of Sayyiduna Rasulullah. Our rishta, our muhabbat, our connection is because of Sayyiduna Rasulullah. So when you see your Muslim brother, say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. You never see him for the first time. You shouldn't see a Muslim and say, I don't know you. Sorry, brother, I'm not going to give you salam. Let's just ignore him. No! A Muslim in his spirit and soul is a brother of a Muslim. And Sayyidina Rasulullah on the basis of this, he said, give each other salam as though you recognize one another. <coughs> so that we can have better communities and better societies. And Sayyidina Rasulullah said, وَصَلُّوا بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّاسُ And I give you one other tip and one other golden rule. Four things he said all together. The last one is, when lights are off at night, sit in the remembrance of Allah. It's easy to pray in front of people. It's easy to pray in front of other people to show them. But it's hard to pray alone in the room, alone in the dark when everybody is asleep. And to sacrifice asleep and to sit in front of Allah and make you thicker. And the spirit shock you will feel then you should not experience elsewhere. The time you have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at that point when there is no one except you and your Lord. There is no discussion except yours and your Lord's. وَسَلُّوا بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّاسُ 
Oh my umma, oh Ansan, if you do these four things, I promise you that you will enter Jannah with peace. At the Mutam, give food and langar, distribute food. After salam, give salam to one another. Sinu al and tie the bonds of kinship. Salu bin Lady wa Nazuliya. And pray at night when people are asleep. Tadkhurul Jannah bi salam. You should enter Jannah with peace. This is the message of Malina. The first message Sayyiduna Rasulullah gave to the people of Malina. Alhamdulillah, this is the final message of today's gathering.